Hello and welcome again. As we mentioned in the previous uh, couple of videos, uh, we saw that Java has uh, two uh, methods, one to compute the uh, quotient and the other one to compute the remainder. So one to compute Q and R, uh, but recall that those methods don't work well with uh, negative numbers. So we, have a, we need a way to compute, uh, in this case, Q and R that are coming from the division algorithm that actually give you, give us the numbers that uh, the division algorithm says uh, are correct. So, so one way to do it is uh, to find Q and R is let's find Q first. Uh, so we actually mentioned already how to find Q. And if you watch one of the videos about how to uh, find the quotient of two integers, uh, you saw that I'll work with this formula here. So the sine of B uh, times the floor function of the floor value of A divided by B. Of course, assuming that uh, B is not equal to zero. So this is actually the formula we're going to use to compute the quotient. And we can implement this formula into Java. Uh, of course, to do that, we need to have a way to compute the sine of a number, the floor of a number, and this division right here will be a division that's going to give me a decimal number because I need to compute the floor of some real number here, or decimal part. Uh, the good news is that Java has all these functions already implemented uh, in a package. So, so what I'm going to do uh, now is it tell you what these functions are. So I'm going to start with, um, let's say, the sign function. So this one here. So in Java, uh, we have, so this is all in Java. So Java. In Java, we have a function called uh, matsinum. So it's like this, capital M, M-A-T-H, just for mathematics, dot signum. Now, when you apply this to an integer, this is gonna give you the sign of that integer. So we already have a way to translate the sign function in Java. Now, this is for the sign function, for the one that is uh, right here, this one, the sign function. So that will be one thing that you, that you need to use there to implement that Q or the quotient. Uh, the second thing that you will need is the floor function. So a way to compute the floor function or the floor value of a decimal. So in this case, uh, this floor that is implemented in Java is gonna take as an as an input as as a number is gonna take a double. Okay. So I'm gonna write down what it, uh, this is for the floor function. So the for for the floor function uh, is gonna start it almost the same. So it's gonna be math that and you could guess it's just floor so floor and this one here is going to act on or it's going to be the domain of the input is going to be a double so you might have to make sure that that is a double there um also as you can see here uh you also will need to compute the absolute value of a number now Java also has that um, that function there or that method, and in Java that method is also part of the math uh, package, so it's called math that abs, and this one is for the absolute value of a number. Now if you want to know exactly or all the details on how this uh, three functions work. I suggest that you uh, Google them and you will find explanations online on how they actually work. They are very simple. Um, what I just said here is uh, pretty much what they do. So, but if you want more information, you can go ahead and look for them. Now, using that, using these three functions, uh, uh, one, two, and three, you will be able to write down this whole formula, which basically will give you the quotient of the division a divided by b 
Now, there's one more thing I have to explain here, and is how we're gonna write down this division here, and that's also crucial there to, for implementing this uh, quotient and remainder in Java. Now, this uh, part here is gonna be this slash function again. Uh, so I'm gonna mention that in here, but with a little uh, change. So how are you gonna write down a divided by the absolute value of V in, in Java? So what you're gonna do there is the following. So you're gonna start, so the way you're gonna type it goes like this. It's gonna be A or the dividend slash if I just write down the absolute value, it's gonna give me the division of two integers, and I don't want that because remember, that's not working pretty well. What I want is the decimal part of whatever it is in there. So what I have to do to force Java to give me a decimal, in this case, it's gonna give me a double. When I do that division, A divided by the absolute value of B, is I have to cast one of the integers, either the A or B, into a double. Now, the way you're gonna do that is it goes like this. So um, I'm gonna cast one of them. You don't have to cast two, both, just with one is enough. So let's say, for example, I wanna cast uh, the absolute value of B. So what I'm gonna do here is, as you can uh, probably guess, the casting is gonna be like this. So it's parenthesis, uh, double, so what I mean, what I what that means basically is whatever goes after it, uh, if it is an integer, is gonna be considered as a double after that. And I'm gonna write down the absolute value of that uh, number b. So it's gonna be math that abs of of b. Now that division there is going to give me a double and the reason it's going to give me a double is because one of the numbers that is right here is considered as a double even though this number b here is an integer when i compute the absolute value it's still an integer but when i do this it's going to consider that as a double so basically that is what we call casting in java so make, uh, making one variable into another of one type into another type so now this whole thing here uh, is gonna be a double. So when Java uh, does this operation A slash this absolute value here, it's gonna give me a decimal. And that's exactly what I want here in this formula uh, that you see over here. I want the decimal there or the double for that one. So, so basically what I did here is I actually gave you what you have to write down uh, in Java. So this is what you have to write down in Java for for that part only of course then after that you just have to write down the floor of it and then of course you have to multiply by the sign of b now one thing that is important and i'll let you do that when you compute the absolute value okay of this whole thing uh the or the floor function so it's going to give you an integer um Make sure that you answer the answer that you get is an integer whenever you're doing this. Um, the reason this is because uh, here I'm casting that to a double, all right? Um, so just make sure that everything goes into an integer, whatever the answer is. So this one here, uh, the Q, the final answer, should be an integer, and that's what we want. We want an integer out of this uh, uh, computation, out of this computation right here. So if there is a need to cast again into an integer, you have to do it. Um, so that's exactly what you need to do. Now, that's, that is uh, pretty much what you have to do to implement this quotient uh, in Java. So I pretty much gave you all what you, what you need. I gave you uh, the functions that you need to use, and I also gave you uh, a key part here, which is casting the uh, this uh, expression into a double, so this uh, division here will give me a double when I actually do the division or when Java does the division. Now that's gonna give me Q, so that computes the quotient. How about the remainder? Uh, the remainder is actually quite easy once you have the quotient. And the reason for that is because, uh, let me go back here to the formula. So if I have the quotient, 
here. So I already know what the quotient is. Then, because I know that the in the division algorithm, this equation that is right here needs to be satisfied. So if I have A, I have B because they are given to you. This is the dividend. That's the divisor. And Q is the one that I already computed right here. I can actually solve this equation for R. So I will be able to find R. So to find the remainder, the only thing you have to do here is I'm going to write this down. So to find the remainder R, what you need to do is to solve the equation for R. So basically this R will be A minus B times Q. And remember, uh, all this information here is known. A is the dividend, B is the divisor, and Q is that number where we already compute there that is the quotient. And that's all you have to do, actually, to find the remainder. So just uh, solve the equation for R, and then they will give you that remainder there. And because we're doing the things the correct way, this R should be positive or zero and less than the absolute value of B. So that's how you implement this, uh, the quotient and the remainder in Java to give you the numbers that actually agree with the division algorithm. So that's the first project, the first programming project. And I'll give you more details in a PDF file that I'm going to upload there in the 2L. So you will be able to find the details on, on that project.